Hello! Hello Libra, I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I am ready for you. I've just shuffled all my cards, I've cleansed the energy, and I had a bite of mac and cheese, and I feel so much better, very comfor comfortable. I am having some speech things today. I don't know, my words are just kind of like jumbled up, so bear with me. I will try to speak as openly as I can, and I am ready to share with you. I have some tea next to me. I have two candles going, and they are beautiful, 33, and um, we're going to open up the space for you. I do want to start today with a uh, affirmation card. I just feel like we need to set the space. What does Libra need to hear? Please, spirit guides, ancestors, gods, goddesses, all loving white light, please come into this space now, keeping us protected, comforted, open, and ready to hear whatever we need to hear. Please help Libra feel guided and supported today. What does Libra need to hear? One card at a time, please, spirit. What does Libra need to hear? One card at a time, please, Spirit. What does Libra need to hear? Anything else for Libra? Anything else for Libra? Nope, okay. So we have, I choose joy. The universe has three answers. Yes, not yet. I have something better in mind and I breathe, the universe is taking care of everything else. Okay. I felt called to do that. Sometimes I just feel like I need to bring heat and connection into my body. Um, <clears throat> Maybe you're going through something right now where you've been asking a question, or you've been trying to decide what direction to go in your life, or is this thing right for me, 222. Um, take the time, if you were already thinking of a question, maybe that is what you needed to hear. The universe has three answers, yes, not yet. I have something better in mind. So maybe it's time to just sit with whatever you're doing and decide what is going to better serve you. The universe is taking care of everything else. So you don't have to worry. Everything is going to happen in due time. Just allow things to kind of flow naturally. Know that you are supported and that you are connected and everything is going as to plan, okay? And allow yourself to choose joy, joy as you are along this journey. Joy makes everything better, <laughs> okay? We're gonna go into the Angel Inspiration deck by Kim Dreyer. What does the need to hear? 313. One card at a time, please, Spirit. Seek enlightenment. What does Libra need to hear, please, Spirit? What does Libra need to hear? One card at a time, please. What does Libra need to hear? Gratitude. What does Libra need to hear? One card at a time, please, Spirit. What does Libra need to hear? One card at a time. I have a little bit of a headache now. So maybe you're connecting into your higher chakras, needing to open up the space for source to feel more connected and supported in this space. The card show justice popped out. Maybe you're in a time of uh, karmic justice. So, you know, things are going the way naturally that they should be going. But if you've done good things, good things will come to you. If you've done not so good things, um, same thing. It might not be so good what comes back towards you. 424, um, balance is everything. So show justice within your life. This could be a justice system. This could be a higher power like um, government, this could just be inner justice, uh, career justice, relationship justice, 444. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you're going through right now, but justice will prevail. Have faith in whatever you're going through and know that whatever is going to happen, um, 
whatever is going to represent or come up for you is exactly what's supposed to happen. Anything else for Libra? Check your emotions. So make sure you're responding instead of reacting to whatever comes in. <clears throat> be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Anything else for Libra? Don't overthink whatever does come in or whatever you're waiting to have waiting for to happen. Um, don't let your mind take over your life. Anything else for Libra? Face your challenges head on. A lot of cards flew out. We'll see if anything comes out one more time. One did flip over. Be content. Be content with, with whatever happens for you, okay? Cooperate and nurture your dreams. So it's all about reciprocity is what I'm feeling. So allow yourself to just go with the flow, 616, let things happen the way that they're naturally supposed to happen and take the time to nurture yourself and nurture your dreams and know that whatever your choices are or whatever is being decided for you is exactly what is supposed to be happening, okay? We're gonna go into the moon deck. 636, lots of sixes and threes I see. What does Libra need to hear, please, spirit? Holy moly. Proper rest helps me feel and look my best. Yeah, so maybe you're just in a weird, not weird, maybe you're just in a period where you need a little bit more rest in your life. Take the time to nurture yourself, okay? When I let others shine, I shine too. Yeah, so reciprocity, 707. I love that for you, that's so exciting. So be that shining light in your life. If you can nurture yourself first, then that positive energy will radiate from you because you have allowed yourself to be, you know, treated correctly. <laughs> when you take time for self-care, everything beautiful occurs afterwards, 727. I focus on what is working. Anything else for Libra? Spirit, one card at a time. Anything else for Libra? Please fly out. Anything else for Libra? Anything else? One card at a time, please, Spirit. Be patient with whatever is happening in your life. I honor the, the natural process of growth and transformation. So rest is needed. <clears throat> Allow yourself to open up to positive energy so that others feel that same positive energy. Focus on what is working for you right now. Be, you know, open to setting intentions, setting goals, you know, having a focal point where you are directing that energy and you're excited for it. But remind yourself that things take time to grow and transform. So be patient, 828. Anything else for Libra? I have unlimited potential and claim my purpose all I need is within me. Yep. So you don't have to ask for any external help. Just allow yourself to be open through your heart, to feel compassionate for yourself in any situation you're in, any community you're in. Feel love and light and just allow yourself to be an open vessel of intuition, beauty, guidance, strength, inner willpower. <clears throat> yeah. And just trust in yourself, trust in your truth, trust in your soul experience. I welcome clear vision and inspired action. Yep. So just, you know, keep your eye on whatever you want to be going towards. Just trust that intuition to guide you. We're going to move into the um, Jeffrey deck. It's a tarot. 929. So a lot of, uh, I'm seeing a lot of numbers that are balanced. So yeah, we're talking about balance here. Balance of masculine and feminine, balance of your energy, making sure that you are nurtured so that you can share uh, uh, your energy with other people. Okay. All right. What does Libra need to hear? One card at a time, please. I'm not doing reversals. 
One card at a time for Libra. One card at a time, please, for Libra. One card at a time. What does Libra need to hear, Spirit? spirit we are open and ready to hear what needs to be said what guidance does libra need to hear today fly out that one flew out for sure okay so it seems like my air signs are having a lot of similar qualities in their life right now wow these decks this deck is vibrating any last thing for libra one card at a time please one card at a time Okay, so you're definitely in a space of judgment. You're having to make decisions. You are being the judge of your own life or someone is judging your life in a particular scenario, 11-11. Something is going to be judged and something is going to happen due to that, right? Okay. For some reason, I had the urge to say sorry. Maybe you have to say sorry to something. Sorry to someone. Sorry to other people. Uh, sorry to yourself. You know, forgiveness is a, a really important thing. Forgiveness of yourself. Forgiveness of others. You don't necessarily have to forget things, but you... It, you know, it is very healing for yourself if you forgive others and if you forgive yourself. It cleanses that energy out so that it doesn't stay like a stubborn, you know, a stubborn needle in your side, you know? 12-12. Okay. Let's take any last cards for Libra. Okay, so it looks like it's going in a good direction. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot of energy in this deck. Oh my goodness. Let me bring some of these over here because this is not so. <clears throat> I feel pretty open in my throat. Right now, I feel like a lot of things are coming out. You're feeling open to your own expression which is good. Um, you're just kind of going with the flow and allowing things to happen because you know at the end of the day, the right thing is going to happen. What else does Libra need to hear? Anything else for Libra? Fly out, please. I just saw love. So a lot of good things are coming in the future. Anything else for Libra? Please fly out. Last thing for Libra. Last thing for Libra. Saw love again. Last thing for Libra. Okay, so it wants to end on this note, which I'm completely okay with. <laughs> okay, so um, I may go in the book at some points, but I'm just gonna look at this real quick. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 cards on the table. There's a lot going on. So we start off with Queen of Winds. Queen of Winds is all about reciprocity, understanding what needs to come in, what needs to leave, saying yes and no to certain scenarios, and kind of being your own, um, being your own space of understanding, like trusting your instincts, trusting your own intuition to say, yes, this is right for this lifestyle, or this is not. Like, you can think about people, you can think about food, you can think about jobs. This person serves me in this way and I really love being around them or this person does not serve me and I really do not like being around them. You can cut ties, whatever. So you're in the place of having to make choices. Maybe you're making choices in food. This food makes me feel good. This food does not make me feel good. 1441. Maybe this food is healthy for me, but it's not, you know, it doesn't make me feel good. Maybe this food isn't very healthy for me, but makes me feel better. What is, what is, what am I going to do? What is going to make me feel better yet still be healthy and like nourishing in my life? and what is worth nurturing, if that makes sense. 
So you're in a place of just kind of comp contemplation, deciding what works, what doesn't. Gesture of fire makes me think that, um, it's interesting. There's a, there's a feather in the hat. There is, um, fire in the hand. There is a butterfly on the foot and it's just like, this person is looking at all that willpower, all the opportunities in his ball of his hand that he could do, where he could put all this energy into. And he's just trying to figure out where do I want to go? And this butterfly is sitting there like, hey, we're just kind of floating here. And we're going to, you know, enjoy this moment and just take in the life's beauties that we are around 50, 15, 51. And, you know, we're, we know that we have all this power. We're excited to put it somewhere, but we're just taking a moment to be patient to allow things to come in naturally. I also see this card here and it, to me, it looks like a phone is in the hand. So it's like, I know it's not a phone, it's a card, but the, 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 in my brain, I'm like, it's trying to figure out where to call, who to contact, how to, um, take all that energy to a new space. So maybe it's something about like who you're going to work with, who, um, is the better option for you, who you're going to contact for relationships, who, who is going to help, you know, progress your life in a particular direction and who you think that you could do the same thing for. It's all about reciprocity and just, you know, good energy. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I just got a text that dis that distracted me. So yeah, makes me think about phones. So maybe you're getting texts and you're deciding who to contact, who to not, um, you know, what to take in, what to not take in. And you don't have to take in everything. Gesture of tides, you're looking at this cup you're trying to decide if it's half full or half empty and how you could fill it up a little bit more so it serves you or serves others in a better way. It's all about balancing that energy out and you're trying to figure out if you can cultivate more of an understanding of, you know, having structure yet still having time for play. Um, so it's really about navigating your life in a different way and maybe figuring out a routine that works better for you. So once you've decided what routine is working better for you, you're going to start to go towards Nine of Gardens, which Nine of Gardens is beautiful. Has this um, beautiful lady in the garden. She's just almost being completely consumed by the garden that's around her, which means that she has taken the time to nourish herself, um, her feminine energy, nourish her love, her inner space with compassion so that all that positive energy shines and radiates through to the external space as well. So it's, it's encouraging you to know that success in any compassion, compassion, any, any form, success in any form is coming in your way. In this particular situation, it could be a relationship. It could be connections with other entrepreneurs or other people in your career. Um, it could be just learning to love yourself more and, you know, listening to your own body, mind, and soul and understanding this fits for me, this does not fit for me, and understanding why you are experiencing these certain scenarios, like specifically if it's food, you're learning like how to live a more balanced, nutritious life where you're still, you know, getting to enjoy all the things and you're not having to cut things out unless it really does not serve you um, and your higher self, okay? Then you have to make a choice, right? It's all is about a choice. You're saying yes, saying no. You're, you're deciding how to balance things out. You're understanding what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And then at the end of the day, you have to make that decision to say, I'm going in this direction or this works for me. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Sorry, no nothing against you. This is just kind of what I have to do for me is what I'm feeling. Okay. So you're making a choice. Then we have ace of wins, which I'm going to look up, but ace of wins is interesting because it has a lot of structure <clears throat> and it looks like you're feeling a lot of things at night. So it's almost like you're, you know, being taunted by 
your choice in the dark. Like your, your brain is a little bit up in the air and you're just like really thinking about your life choices and you're looking down at what you've decided and you're like, it's almost like your dreams are kind of like consuming you. So maybe you're not getting a lot of sleep because you've made a choice and you're not sure how it's going to turn out um, and you're just a little bit nervous, okay? And it's okay to be nervous if you're making decisions and you don't know how it's going to turn out. It can be a little bit scary. Queen of Gardens. So you've made the right choice, <laughs> okay? So you have thought about it, you've made the right choice, and you know, you've slept on it, you've digested it, and now you are the Queen of Gardens. This garden is really interesting because it has butterflies everywhere, it has birds everywhere, it has some flowers, and it feels like you're very connected to your heart center, your voice, understanding what works for you, and you are standing strong in your own internal power, and you know that you are one with nature, one with yourself, and that you are grounded, and that all that energy is rising up almost like a tree. You are sturdy, you are stable, and you're ready to, you know, open up, expand, and go forward in whatever direction you need to be going forward. I definitely think of this as like death and rebirth, 2121. I feel like you're ready for this new beginning. And then we have the magician. The magician is interesting because it's like you're in the dark, like having to make these decisions and you've decided that you're doing something, but now you have to figure out how you're going to do it. So you're having to figure out how to transmute energy, um, transmute your situation, move out of a situation, move into a situation. You're trying to figure out how you can put all these pieces together, like building blocks to cultivate this new experience for yourself. So you might have to let go of one thing to bring in a new thing and it just takes time. It's, it's a slow process, but you are going to get there. You just have to figure out the logistics behind it. And then we have temperance afterwards, which is interesting because you're in a space of vulnerability. You have your inner willpower that's guiding you and now you're just hanging in the air <laughs> and you're just going with the wind, just flowing around, you know, trying to have fun, trying to just see what directions you're supposed to go in, um, what feels right, just allowing yourself to be open to your own inner voice and allowing yourself to trust yourself, believe in the process, have faith that whatever direction you're going in is exactly right for you, 2244, and you're just, you know, hanging on and you're gonna ride the ride. Then at the end of the day, you're in a space of the star, which is amazing. The star is kind of like, honestly, I feel like it's the best, the best. You're finally in a space, you've made your choices, you're sitting with it, you're finding peace within it, you're just meditating within the life that you are currently in, you're living in the moment, you're finding gratitude, you're finding peace. You're allowing everything to kind of slowly mesh in whatever direction it needs to go um, so that you can then move forward in your more clear mind and space okay so you're sitting with all of it you're finding clarity you're allowing everything to happen the way that it's supposed to happen and you're just you know in a state of flow is what i'm feeling you're vulnerable you're allowing you're surrendering to the moment then we move into eight of tides which is really cool because you finally made your choice you're you're comfortable with that whatever decision it was that you've made and you see clearly that if you move forward in this direction, it's going to be bright and it is going to be the direction that you need to be going in to, you know, to have that life experience, to have that relationship, to have whatever that is going to serve you in a better, more healthy way. You see that bright light and you're just on that journey to get there. Okay. So now you're on that journey. It's just going to take a little bit longer, but you see it. It's in your sight. It's in your viewpoint okay you're ready you're connected you're moving forward then we have the moon <clears throat> which is bright it's expansive it's floating up in the air it is that focal point that inner intuition that is guiding you 24 42 it's just allowing you to see the right place to be You've trusted in your experience. Oh my gosh, I skipped one. Maybe that was supposed to happen, but I will, I will go back. 
Jester of Winds is this, um, it's this being that is calm, is kind of, like, kind of childlike, um, is open to new things, is excited for the future, <clears throat> is holding all of his cups and is ready to like go towards whatever it wants to be going towards. It's open to the future, open to the new beginnings um, and is able to sit with it until it comes. And then we get to the moon where you finally have your destination. You have that viewpoint. You, you are really directed in that one direction and nothing is going to stop you, which is really cool. And once you have decided that you are going this direction and that nothing is going to stop you and no one's going to mess with you, you become the empress, okay? Which is a feminine depiction of oneself. You're in a space of flow. You're allowing all your things to come into you. You're open, you're receptive. You're in a space of surrendering to the moment because you know that everything is coming at due time and that everything is happening the way that it's supposed to. All your you know, worldly pleasures, all your success, all your money, all your whatever, all your things are coming to you. You are able to have anything in life that you want because you are abundant and that you know that you've put in the work to manifest your dream life experience. I will read the Empress in this deck so that you get another um, depiction of it. The Empress. Okay, so you've set your intention, you're open, and you're excited for whatever you're going to be receiving in life. You're receiving unconditional love. You're in a space of harmony and nature. You're satisfied with your sensual pleasures and your new romance or new ro new beginning is coming in. So it's like the sun. It's like the sun is shining. Everything is bright. Everything is bubbly. You know, everything you could imagine is coming into a space of renewal, a space of regeneration. Everything is vibrating at a higher frequency for you and it is exciting and it is beautiful and it is exactly what's meant to happen okay so i'm gonna pull hmm one card from the raven's oracle what does libra need to hear please standing tall it didn't fly out but i'm gonna go with it standing tall so You've decided, you know, you're doing these things in your life. You're open. You're in a space of compassion. Don't forget to stand in your own confidence. You know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You know where you're supposed to be going. Allow yourself to stand strong and stable with, with whatever your choices are in life. And, you know, try not to be too much on guard. Be open. Be in that space of unconditional love, compassion, kindness for anyone around you and for yourself because everything is happening the way it's supposed to happen. 28, 28. Okay, we're going to get one card from Sacred B. One card, please, as an overview for Libra. One card, please, for an overview of Libra. One card, please, as an overview for Libra. What does Libra need to hear, please, Spirit? One card for Libra. One card for Libra. Whew. Whew. Happiness. You're getting everything you've ever wanted. You know, ride that wave. Just allow yourself to fully be in that moment. Open, expansive, enjoying life. Just in that space of buzzy bee flying around enjoying everything that is coming towards you because you 1000 percent deserve it okay you deserve happiness don't forget that you have persisted you have done the work you know you've you've really lived in the moment you've gone through that journey and now you finally get to have your happiness your final beautiful destination of whatever you desire in life. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you have a beautiful day, Libra, and thank you for joining me for your reading.